Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a third-party HDMI dock for the Steam Deck. And when it comes down to it, I've actually been looking for these. They're starting to pop up all over Amazon, and there's a few available right now. Prices range from around $25 up to $55 that I've seen so far. But you know, if you want to wait on Valve's official Steam Deck dock, then you can go ahead and do that. I'll definitely be picking one up, but I personally do like using the Steam Deck in dock mode, be it with Steam Deck UI or using it in desktop top mode and real quick this is actually what I've been using so far. First up got this little Steam Deck stand that I picked up on Amazon I think it was like nine dollars. It's got a little bit of adjustability to it not much going on it's basically just a stand. But to get that HDMI signal out of USB type C on the deck itself I've been using this little adapter. We've got one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 port, full size HDMI out, and USB type C in for charging up the deck while everything's connected. And that method has actually worked great for the past few months, but I've been really wanting to get my hands on a nice little unified dock, and we can finally pick them up for pretty cheap. This was actually $30 on Amazon. It was actually the least expensive one listed, and it wasn't going to take forever to ship. This is known as a 5-in-1, but they also offer a 6-in-1. And overall, it definitely looks like that Steam Deck is going to fit in here really nicely. Taking a closer look, we've got our USB Type-C in. This is what we're going to plug into the Steam Deck. And around back, we have full-size HDMI 2.0, so it will do 4K60. USB Type-C, and this does support 45 watt quick charging, so the included adapter that came with the Steam Deck will be used with this. And we also get three USB 3.0 ports. Unfortunately, since this is the 5-in-1, it doesn't include Ethernet. And I definitely wanted to get Ethernet on a dock like this. They do offer one, but it's going to take about a month to ship. And I really wanted to see if this would work out in the first place. And on the bottom, we've got four rubber feet here so it doesn't slide around on the desk. So I've got a basic setup here. We're going to be using the Steam Dex charger. So we'll plug this into the rear USB Type-C port. We've got HDMI, and the monitor I'm using does support 4K60. And finally, I want to add a mouse and keyboard. I'm going to go wireless with a cheaper Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard combo. And basically, we're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and see if this thing works. We'll just place the Steam Deck here, plug in that USB Type-C, give it a few seconds to detect the signal. Oh, hopefully it comes... There we go. All right, I was actually a little worried for a second. Okay, so we've got video out to my monitor, and I actually have an Xbox controller connected already, so that's ready to go. But yeah, I mean, basically, HDMI to this monitor is working fine. I've also got that mouse and keyboard plugged in, so our USB ports are working. And one thing I actually wanted to test were hard drives in desktop mode. When it comes to a non-powered hard drive, sometimes on these lower end docks, we don't get sufficient power for the drive itself, so we will take a look at that by the end of the video. Okay, so I definitely want to see if this will handle 1440p and 4K. I know the game's not going to run well at 1440p, but we're going to go ahead and test uh, The Witcher 3. If we head down to Properties, with the latest updates on the Steam Deck, we can change the default resolution. 1440p. And we'll see what happens. I just want to make sure that it will do 1440p out so we can go right into the settings once we get in the game. Okay, so yeah, I mean, at 1440p, low settings, you can get around 26 FPS out of this game. And it is working. So if I go here to video, you can see that we are at a native 1440p. So yeah, the dock handles 1440p. And obviously, there's not going to be a lot of AAA games that are going to really run at 1440p or 4K, you know, over 60 FPS on the Steam Deck. But uh, we still have the option here, and even with this setup at 720p on a bigger display, low settings, The Witcher 3 is still a great looking game. So yeah, gaming with the dock does work out really well. Now, I want to test a game that actually might run at 4K. We'll go with Left 4 Dead 2. And again, we need to make sure we set that default resolution. So we'll go to 4K here, set it to all displays connected. And now we'll just move right over into some gameplay. So yeah, I actually wasn't expecting it to run this game at 4K well. But what I've done here is just gone in. I've turned everything down to low. We are at a native 4K resolution with this game. I've got the frame cap turned off. 
and it actually runs Left 4 Dead 2 at 4K pretty decently at low. Now with this, I would definitely want to turn that frame cap on and just kind of lock it right there at 60. It would definitely eliminate any of those major dips, but yeah, I mean, the dock can also handle 4K resolutions. All right, so I just went ahead and switched monitors. I just went over to a BenQ 4K 60fps monitor. This is my main monitor, and I wanted to see if it would work with it. One of the main things I'd be using the Steam Deck for in dock mode is for its desktop. So let's go ahead and move over there. If we head to power, we can go to desktop mode. And I'm sure the resolution isn't going to be set correctly with this new setup. But yeah, as you can see, we've got picture on the Steam Deck. And the big monitor is set up as an extended display, but it's easy enough to fix. Head into settings, display, and we're going to set the big monitor as our primary display. I'm going to go at 1080p just so it scales up a little bit and it's easier to see. But yeah, with a dock like this, makes it super easy to get your Steam Deck set up in desktop mode. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you don't mind using an adapter, you can always just lay the Steam Deck down and plug in your USB Type-C to HDMI. But personally, I'd prefer having the dock with the integrated ports. Plus, since we're sending power into the dock, when we plug our USBs in, it's going to be using that power adapter to power those devices, not just the Steam Deck's battery. But yeah, I mean, you can definitely use this for work, you can use it for entertainment, you can use it for play, and having it set up like this is actually pretty cool. Okay, last thing here, hard drive test. I've got an SSD, doesn't pull as much power as a mechanical drive or a non-powered mechanical drive. Comes right up, we can mount that drive, we can use it right here with the dock, not running into any power issues at all. And I actually wasn't really worried about the SSD. What I was worried about were these non-powered mechanical drives. This is a Western Digital 2 terabyte drive. It does pull more energy than that SSD would. And on some lower end systems, I've actually had it not be able to give it enough power to come up. But with this dock having the power going right in, we're good to go. And another thing I've run into is having the other USB ports not work because the drive's pulling too much power. But I've got that wireless mouse and keyboard plugged into another one of these USB ports, and it's working great. So overall, this inexpensive third-party dock for the Steam Deck does work out pretty well. We can get up to 4K 60 out of that HDMI 2.0 port on the dock itself, and we're getting enough power to those other USB ports. I really wish I could have got my hands on the 6-in-1 version with that Ethernet port because I'm a huge fan of Ethernet, especially since we're already plugging everything in. We might as well get a wired connection just to keep everything super stable. But this is the 5-in-1. If you don't need Ethernet, this might be for you. If you have to have Ethernet while everything's docked up, then I would go with the 6-in-1 version. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. You could always wait it out and get the official Valve version, but these are available right now from many different websites. I picked mine up from Amazon, and I'll leave a couple links in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.